morning everyone good morning good morning hey welcome all you new folks and welcome back everybody what are plans you guys have for Labor Day weekend are you guys did you guys have a great time did you guys barbecue um, did you get some sunshine what all did you guys do hey leave me just a little note did you guys enjoy yourselves with your family and friends let me know ha huh, let's get to this you guys just want to uh, let you guys know, and, and for all the new folks out there, everything that we eat the day before, everything that, that happens to you, stress-wise, if it's that time of the month for ladies, um, if lack of sleep, um, even being excited during the day, uh, taking vitamins, not taking vitamins, all those things can affect your body's ability to drop weight, lose water weight, gain water weight, retention, and so forth. So with that, I'm gonna share what we had yesterday to eat and let you guys see all of our nutrition and our caloric values. So we started off with a 19 hour fast. I had a leftover pork chop and it weighed nine almost nine and a half ounces, but I took my bones back and they were like over two ounces. It was craziness. Anyway, I had a pork chop. I had two eggs. I fried my eggs in a tablespoon of butter and I had a tablespoon of beef tallow on top of my pork chop and it was delicious. Harry had six ounces of ground chuck, 80, 20. He had three eggs fried and a tablespoon of beef tallow. Now you guys, he loves ground chuck. And you're gonna see a lot of ground chuck and eggs Harry's end of it because he loves it. It's easy, it's clean, it's simple whole foods and he feels that he feels the best on it and it helps him lose the most weight. So it does, I, I really believe it. You'll see that repetitively and I apologize that it may be too boring for you but you know, this is our light life and our keto lifestyle journey. So anyway, let's go back. I had seven ounce chicken thighs with skin on and I smeared some tallow on that because chicken, even though you're eating the skin on, was a little leaner. Um, eight ounces of chicken thighs for Harry. He got three tablespoons of avocado mayo mm, mixed with some mustard. And I put a ta tablespoon of lard on his. Gave it that bacony taste, huh, Harry? Mm -hmm. Anyway, two scoops of collagen for each of us with coconut almond milk. And I had one teaspoon of heavy cream. And I have to say, Harry, I had, I had a late addition. What? What'd you do? Well, and I put it on the board, but you I did? didn't figure it in. Well, Where? I had two fat bombs. Oh my God! Well, I came in here and I was looking through my. Why cupboard. didn't I see that? Because I just put it on right before you start filming. Oh. I had my back to the camera, but I wanted to well, share. Well, now, now that I makes two, some sense. Yes, I had two slim fast fat bombs last night. The peanut butter one and the caramel one. The challenge is I got this upper shelf up here. See, I would have thought it was from... And it's got all this stuff up here and I knocked something down. I was going to go get Zenzies and um, they were calling my name. I thought maybe... Yeah, I know you kept going, why'd you gain weight? Well, I figured it was lack of water. That too. We went to pick up my sister from the airport. My mom and I did um, late and her plane was supposed to come in at five and you guys, it was delayed 38 minutes. We sat, my mom won't turn the air conditioner on if the car is sitting, not even for five minutes. We had our windows down. We had the shade over where the sun was and it was 115 degrees. And we sat there for 30 minutes. I didn't have any water with me. I didn't have any fluids with me. And we didn't go to Sky Harbor Airport. We went out to Mesa, which is further away. And it's a very small airport because she flies in from Idaho on Allegiant Air. Anyway, I did not get enough fluids yesterday, even when I came home and drank electrolytes and tried to rehydrate. But I, and I think that might have been why I was craving something <laughs> and I saw that box and it was just like oh yeah I'll have some of these anyway you guys and you didn't offer those. me one no I did not I'm not gonna be an enabler just because I ate where'd you eat it at right in here I learned from somebody I know just come in the kitchen <gasps> and eat quietly you as a mouse sneaking. and nobody will hear it 
If you don't hear it, does it still exist? Well, well I obviously the weight came, so yeah, it yes. does. <laughs> I know. Bad girl, bad girl. Anyway, you guys, without this, because I did this all late and I didn't want to skew this up, I had 0% carbs for a total of 0.6 grams if I had followed this menu completely. 68% fat, 92.3 grams, 32% protein, 99.1 grams, and it would have been 1,262. I didn't add this. This is 180 more calories, 180 more. So like in the 1,400s, you guys, and there's more fat in there, and there's fix a little it. bit of protein. You fix it. You got to put it down there. Oh, Harry, I got the menu. I got to cook. It's 12.51, I'm hungry, aren't you? Let's let's just go past that, let's just go past that. Well, no, you can't yeah. because- Let's go, let, let, let's just go to you, let's go to you. Okay, uh, okay. Harry had three fried geez. eggs and a tablespoon of butter, six ounces of ground chuck 80-20 and a tablespoon of beef tallow. He had eight ounces of chicken thighs. We measured them with the bone, took out the bone, measured them. Three tablespoons avocado mayo, one tablespoon. I think we went over all this. Anyway, we did. So. You got me off track. Shaming me in public because I'm a bad girl. Zero carbs, 0 0.9 grams, 64% fat for a total of 101.2 grams, 36% protein for a total of 131 grams, and that's your upper. Look at this. You went up to your upper level. Went over. No, no I'm, you didn't. I'm so it's low. under. You didn't have as many calories, but your protein was high. 1,448 calories. So, I went up, you guys, six tenths. But you know what? My rings are, I, I, I am water weight today. Oh, I thought I you were going to say your rings are too big and they added weight. No, they're tight. My rings are tight, water weight gain. And I think that's from sitting in the heat. Oh, yeah. We got there. Oh, that's it what it ordered is. ordered a five. Her plane didn't come in till five. 38 so we were out in the sun for 45 minutes yeah, that's what it is it's not the not the fat bombs it's the sitting in the yes. sun yeah yeah, yeah. okay yeah. Uh. yeah sounds good harry didn't gain or lose which means his all-time low is sticking you guys that's exciting you know when you guys don't forget when you make an all-time low you can rebound from that because your body's memory where it wants to be so harry may or may not go down he may go up but he's gone down the little stair ladder, which is really, really good. Okay, everybody, here's our menu for today. I was on our Facebook group, and hey, if you guys aren't already registered, go to Loving It on Keto Facebook group. The link is below. And um, join our group, you guys. It's free to you, and we have a great group of people on there. And Pam was talking about she made the carnivore sausage chaffles and had them, and they were delicious, and I thought, I've got some of that all natural swaggity sage sausage. I'm going to make us sausage chaffles and eggs for breakfast. Harry has Today? that Today? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. So, for our sausage chaffles, we're each going to have three eggs with two ounces of sausage, and I'm going to smear some butter on it, but this time I'm going to put syrup on it. So, I have Harry's going to add. add Two fried eggs to his. He's going to have two fried eggs and a tablespoon of butter, and then his sausage chaffles are going to be three eggs and two ounces of sausage. Okay? For dinner, you guys, I'm going to have four chicken thighs with skin, two tablespoons of avocado mayo to dip my chicken in because I love it that way, two scoops of collagen, four teaspoons heavy whipping cream, plus a little bit of coconut almond milk because I love this stuff. Harry is going to have four ounces of beef brisket, six ounces of chicken thighs, two tablespoons avocado mayo. I'm going to have one tablespoon horseradish mustard and one tablespoon beef tallow for a total of two scoops collagen with coconut almond milk. My uh, sister and mom went out to eat and they brought by a doggy bag of some brisket and there's just enough for Harry. I'm going to let him have it. So he's going to have that. And um, I just want my chicken because I made a whole bunch of chicken thighs the other day and we've still got some left. So anyway, Harry's total is going to be 1% carbs for a total of 4.5 grams, 70% fat for a total of 
29% protein for a total of 101.1. Total calories are going to be a little less, 1,544 calories, you guys. So this is going to be a really good day. And uh, it is almost 1 o'clock, so we will come back, you guys, when we break our fast. And I make our sausage carnivore chaffles. Okay, you guys, I've got the sausage on my scale, and I'm going to take out four ounces of it and put it in the blender. So right now, I don't know if you can see, it's zeroed out. And I'm going to say one, two, three, four. Let's see what that says. One and a half. Three. All this, Harry, can you put this over there? Yep. So we're not going to eat that. This time I'm adding more eggs than I did and less sausage. I'm going to put in six eggs. Okay, you guys, I'm going to close this lid and I am going to blend it. Okay. Harry gets two eggs with his for breakfast. So I've got some butter that I'm going to brown. So that's going to be browning. The first one I made was a little bit too... Ooh, yeah. That looks really good. I'm excited about that. Yeah, that looks a lot better than the that last That does. It's not too thick. Yeah. It's not too thick. So that was basically six eggs, right? And four ounces so, of four ounces. my sausage. Yeah. Ooh, okay, ready? Ready? Get Let's over pour here. some of yeah. this on here. It's a little bit thicker. I don't want to get it over full. Okay? Yep. Let's see what that does. Your butter is melting nicely, browning. Turn that way low. I said this is the whole breakfast for us. We split it even Stephen. Oh, cool. Okay, yeah. that's fine. So that's going to be exciting. Yeah. Okay, it's browning. Can you see? See how it just stops over bubbling and then the aroma hits and you know you've got your butter brown. Huh, Harry? Mm -hmm. And you guys, because it's breakfast and they're sausage truffles, we're putting butter on them and we're going to put syrup on them. Uh-oh. It'll taste like, what are those McGriddles, yeah. you know, where they make the, the, the sandwich with the little pockets of maple syrup with the eggs and the cheese and the sausage. Yep. That's what this is, I'm hoping, will taste like. So this is all done. i got to throw this away and we'll come back when we got our first batch of sausage truffles and eggs. Boy, do you smell that? Let me yeah, I do. It. Ooh, let's take it a peek. Really Come good. on over. Let's see, let's see. Almost. Oh, they're pretty. Oh, wow. Huh. Yeah. I'm excited now, aren't you? Yeah. I always like to try something new. Here, your eggs are done.
I'm telling you, these eggs are lovely. And then I'll give you your butter. I'll put your butter on top of your um, chaffles. Look at that, folks. Look at that. I'm excited now, aren't you? Because it's raw pork, I want to make sure these chaffles are really cooked well. I don't want to burn them, so I'm going to check them a little bit more often, maybe once or twice before I pull them out, because the meat is denser than just cooking with a cheese and eggs. So, just checking with it. Woo! Yeah, I think so. Let's see what's underneath the... Oh, these are nice and dense. More batter. Spread it out a little bit, you know. That one in the back is a little bit full. Yeah, it is. Well, that's all right. That's all right. You, you learn. Do that now. That's right. Okay. I allotted for the butter. And then Harry's is going to have this delicious brown butter on his. You want one then? No, I didn't allot for the brown butter to be on mine. It smells really good. Essence of sausage on there. Hey you guys, let's check them out. Is see the other side. They feel done. Yep, I think they're done. And this one will cut. Yeah, cut it in half. Cut it in half. So Harry and I split this all. Wow, that's quite a that's quite plate a full of food. Quite Don't you want an egg? No, I do not. We are gonna have maple syrup on our chapels. Sure. Here we go. This is Walden, zero calorie. It's made with sucralose, but it's delicious. Is it the best? No, but you guys, it works for us and it tastes just like maple syrup off the shelf for us. Okay, Harry, I want to get your, I want you to take a taste test. Ooh, that's really good. I mean, that's really good. What do you taste? I feel like, like you said, a hint of hint, sausage. Yes. Not but an overpowering amount of sausage. Dense like, like a waffle. Oh. <gasps> Sorry about that, we had some syrup malfunction. Anyway, you guys, let me get a, 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 a taste test. I'm Wendy's really fault. It's my fault. Uh, Always blame Wendy, boy. I'm telling you, Harry. Okay. Huge, huge bite. Mmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. There's that hint of. Uh... Hint of sausage. Yeah. That maple syrup and that hint of sausage. Great breakfast. Great breakfast chocolate, you guys. Anyway, thank you so much, everybody, but gotta eat now. Hey, everybody, it's time for our dinner. My mom and sister are gonna come over a little later. We're all gonna sit down, and watch movies, talk and chit chat and that kind of thing, visit with Lori. So we're gonna eat a little bit earlier today. I've got his brisket measured and I've got his chicken here. Um, and we'll go back and measure the bones and deduct that from his chicken. So we're, all we're going to do is just nuke this, you guys. 
And then I'm gonna make a sauce, a mayonnaise mustard sauce, aioli. A horseradish mustardy mayonnaise sauce. So let me cook this for 135. Nuke that. So that's 10, and then we'll come back and take the bones out. And I'll make our uh, mayonnaise and mustard aioli. I'm gonna make just some mustard mayonnaise uh, horseradish dip. This says a tablespoon is 14 grams. This is the Chosen Foods 100% avocado oil-based classic mayo. So it's easier to measure in grams for something that's smaller. So I need 28 grams. Oops, right there. Right on the nose, huh? Yep. 28 grams for my same thing. I think measuring out mayonnaise and things by the tablespoon are the hardest things to get right. And I think you overindulge by not measuring. I really do. I agree. I really do, because look at that. That's two tablespoons. People are blopping on mayonnaise and they're not measuring it, and you're doing yourself a disservice. So I've got kicked up horseradish mustard, Emerald's brand. So it's got a teaspoon. It doesn't take very much. I'm just gonna put a little bit in the mayonnaise, and then I'm gonna finish it off with some Byron's butt rub, just a little bit. Sounds delicious. Just want to warm it, don't want to cook it. Let's make a nice little tangy aioli to dip your meats in. And if you like it sweet and spicy, put just a teeny weeny bit of your favorite sweetener and make it a honey mustard, spicy honey mustard dressing. We don't like our sweet, so. No way. No way, Jose. There we go, you guys. Look at that. Moderate protein and fat with some fat. Looking good. It smells good. That chicken smells good. Anyway, folks, you know what that means. Gotta eat now. Okay, Harry, you want a little bit of salt? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I got too involved with that, you guys. She's hungry. If you like what you see, please like, subscribe, ring that bell. Give me a thumbs up. We will see you tomorrow. Now I gotta eat. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Ooh, crazy. Huh? Yeah. He's crazy. Good.